Good morning. My name is Pranay and through this simple video, I would want to help you understand data transformation. Should you need to transform data? Minitab offers you a simple option of Boxcox transformation. I hope you already know that data transformation becomes an important exercise as certain hypotheses tests in Six Sigma mandates that data must be normally distributed before you can conduct those exercises. You know, tests like one sample T, two sample T, ANOVAs, etc. make it mandatory that data must be normally distributed. So assume my subject to study, which is C1 here, I, I want to conduct the one sample T, two sample T exercises. So I first went, went ahead and, and checked whether my data is normally distributed or not, went to normality test, chose average handling time, my p-value received is less than 0.05, meaning that my data was non-normal. Hence, it became imperative for me to transform the data. To be able to transform the data, click stats, go to control charts, you will see the option of box cuts. Choose the option observation for a subgroup are in one row of column. Choose your subject to study, which in my case is average handling time. Click options. Choose the cell number that you would want to store it in. C26 is, is the row that I would want to store it. Press OK. OK. There you go. This is done. And in row number C26, I have my new data, the new transformed handling time data. I'll do it again for you. Stats. Control chart, box box transformation, choose the op second option, observation for a subgroup, etc. Select the data, go to options, give it the uh, row number that you would want to store your data in. Press OK and, and that's it. That is how you transform your data. I hope this uh, simple video helps you understand how do you transform data using Minitab.